Hey, welcome back to Better Than Yourself. Today in Better Than Yourself, butternut squash soup in the Instant Pot. I've been looking for a butternut squash soup recipe that's super quick to make. Everything I can make in the Instant Pot, super quick, right? And it's awesome, and I can have dinner cooked in 20 minutes. Except when it comes to these damn butternut squash. You have to like peel them, and they're hard to clean and cut in half, and I just wanted to figure out a better way to cook one of these damn things and not spend my 45 minutes peeling it and cleaning it and, and getting it organized. So I've got a good trick for you, and it's going to use the Instant Pot, and it's going to be awesome. Stay tuned. So my whole problem with these butternut squash is this skin. This has this tough skin on it that you can't eat. Um, everyone, you know, you look at recipes and everyone's trying to peel them with a little vegetable peeler or a little paring knife and it's just a pain in the ass. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this thing whole most of the way and then I'll proceed with my recipe. So I think what I want to do is cut it in half, like I said. And then this needs to come out, right? Just a, I just got a soup spoon that I'm ratting it out with here. And let's cut off a little bit of stem. Now, from here, I think I'm just gonna cook it whole. I've got the little trivet down in there. I'm gonna steam it. We'll put a cup of water in the Instant Pot. And I'm just going to put this squash in here whole. I'm not going to try to peel it, chop it, dice it, deal with it, put on the lid. Let's pressure cook it for eight minutes. And when this is done, we will come back and we'll proceed with the rest of our soup. All right, once it's done, you can just release the steam and um, let the pin drop. And we can have at our squash here and see how they're doing. Use whatever you're comfortable with. This might even be easier. It tends to gouge it a little bit. Then for the rest of our squash here, we'll just cut it up as usual. With the proper tools. Here, just like probably half inch inch sized chunks. So this is definitely not cooked, but just enough to get that rascally peel off of there. So once I've got my butternut squash prepped, it's really just a matter of uh, getting going on my soup now. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil to my Instant Pot. I've got this on saute, so it's hot. I've got two cups of onions. Well, this was, I don't know if it's really two cups, it's one large onion that I just did a rough chop on. And what I want to do is just give this a real quick brown. I'm going to stir it around a little bit and make sure that oil is distributed, and then just let it sit. This is my new way of, of browning onions. Just let it sit in there. It doesn't get that hot. All right, so now once you've got your onion sauteing, go ahead and get your other ingredients prepped. This is about two or three carrots, two big ones um, that I just chopped up, just did a rough chop on them. This is one big apple that I cored and peeled and chopped. And then we have, I think this was about four or five cloves of garlic, just rough chopped. And then, oh, I don't know, a tablespoon of, uh, of fresh ginger to go along with our, our squash. And then the final ingredient you just see is a quart of chicken stock. This is homemade chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock. You can use water if you want. I like chicken stock. But basically what we're do trying to do here is we're making butternut squash soup. Yeah, that's the main ingredient. But there's a lot of other things that go into it. You can just puree some butternut squash after you cook it and water it down and call it soup. But I like to try to accentuate the thing that I'm making. If this is butternut squash, then I want to add a little bit of umami, add a little bit of our, our cooked onions, add a little bit of sweetness, add some apple, add that beautiful orange color of butternut squash. 
<laughs> I'm cheating. I got this carrot. I'm gonna cook it and then, then basically, you know, and just add some, some flavors to it. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger. Not enough to really overpower the, the butternut squash, but just enough to kind of build those flavors up. Add to the butternut so I get a really delicious soup when I'm done. I didn't spend a whole lot of time making these pretty because basically the whole thing is just gonna get pureed when we're done. So that's everything that goes in the soup. I'm gonna let my onions just sit here for a little bit and get some brown on them. And then once I see my onions are starting to brown, we'll put everything in the Instant Pot and we'll clamp it down and go for the pressure cook. Okay, getting some brown here. Basically the drill on sauteing your onions is, you saw me put in a little bit of oil, chopped onion, and then I literally just stir it around for a second and then let it sit. Let it sit in there for about three minutes, four minutes, give it a quick stir, another two minutes, and we're up to where we are now. And um, you can see, despite the steam, that um, there's a good amount of brown in there. So that's really all we need. From there, just add everything. We'll do, uh, got a tablespoon of chopped ginger. We've got four garlic cloves chopped. We've got some, this is probably four, three, four um, carrots peeled, rough chopped. An apple peeled, cored. The squash that you saw me try to peel a minute ago. And then three cups of stock. This is chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock, whatever you like. This is my homemade stock. Let's get everything down in there. Probably half a teaspoon of salt. Pop on the top, and we're gonna uh, manually pressure cook, um, cancel, manual, for 15 minutes. Set ourselves to sealing here, and we're ready to go. All right, we've got everybody in there. This is gonna cook for a while here. We'll come back when we hear the beeps. We'll hit it with a stick blender, and we'll be ready for some soup. So now once your soup is cooked, once your vegetables have all cooked for the appointed time here, everything should be nice and soft. Everything should smell amazing. You've got two options. You can put it in a Vitamix and blend it and make up, you know, do your puree this way. If you have a stick blender, you can um, literally just like a, the blade of a, of a blender um, <laughs> wrong side down and you can literally just stick your blender down into the soup. And, and blend it that way um, and you know literally just buzz the crap out of it or you can remove this to just a Vitamix usually I don't like to do this in a blender do something hot like this don't fill it any more than well half full and clamp the lid on tight protect yourself drape this thing. You've got a lot of hot liquid in there. When this thing starts uh, uh, getting pureed, it's going to suck a lot of air into it. That air is going to get heated and it's going to expand. So just drape the whole thing with a towel. Start off super slow and uh, work your way up. But if this lid were to come off, I'm basically protected by my little drape here. So... And then just work in batches. Get yourself a big bowl just to dump this out. There's that steam I was concerned with. And then work through the rest of it here. a little too much. Remember, we're going, going about half full when we're doing stuff that's hot in the Vitamix and we've got our safety shroud. And then once you've got it all pureed, just give it a quick stir and ladle into bowls. 
That's it, guys. Butternut squash soup. This is delicious. You can um, finish this with some heavy cream or some butter, maybe a little bit of uh, cracked black pepper, or if you're so inclined, I've seen people put uh, crumbled fried bacon on the top, which could be uh, a real taste treat for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy your butternut squash soup, and I'll see you next time.